All right, folks, I thought I'd just drop in and just have a little more fun. You know, now that we know everything, it's like, let's just kind of put it right back on the enemy, huh? Let's just give them their own stuff they serve back, you know, for lack of a better word. Just let's give them their own stuff right back to them, huh? So anyway, y'all saw the last uh, last commercial I broke down. Uh, I'd done that, you know, years ago, but hindsight's twenty twenty. I hadn't done all the double U, you know, the two intersecting Vs. I hadn't done that back then. Uh, the the twin system has been the you know the most recent complete destruction of their hidden kingdom because the whole system is duplicitous. It's twins. And so applying that to the um, the commercial we did just the other day, the Bud Light commercial, just destroys it because Ian, uh, Ian is in a bar where he's the subject where everybody's watching. A girl named Kelly walks up, and Kelly says, Hey, Kelly, female warrior, walks up and says to the gift of God, Hey, if I give you this, are you up for whatever happens? And he makes a deal, he touches her, and he does it right in front of the light. And they've made the deal right there. She winks at him, by the way. Uh, those that wink the eye devise perverse things. See, there it is. There they're making the deal. If I give you this, are you up for whatever happens? And so female warrior gets the gift of God trapped. And let me show you the picture of her winking at him. There it is. Uh, there's the female warrior winking at him. Remember, neither let them wink the eye that hate me without cause. There it is. There she is winking at him because Ian's the sacrifice, just like the sheep. So anyway, so she takes him and she puts him in a, a limo with a bunch of bachelorettes. And just the whole concept of a bachelorette party is, I mean, you know, come on. It's a bunch of girls going out to party and some of them get drunk and, you know, have sex with a guy and possibly even the bride-to-be having sex one last time with some other guy before she actually gets married. It's kind of a rather disgusting concept, isn't it? And so there he is getting in the car with all the bachelorettes. Interesting, here's look, right side up, upside down. There's the paradigm right there. See it here and here? So this one's, this, this one's, we'll call it right side up and this one upside down. So he gets in and there's his little seat that's reserved for him. And then they take him to a party. First, they go and they change his clothes. Uh, Mika Kelly restyles him. Uh, her, uh, Kelly, again, female warrior. He puts on a different set of clothes now. And she changes him and she puts him in a jacket. And then they go to the party. He meets Don Cheadle in the elevator. Don Cheadle is dressed identically to... Uh, the way he is dressed, uh, he has this, well, when I say identically, they have on the same jacket, the same um, handkerchief from the top of the jacket. Uh, and Don Cheadle gets in with a llama named Lily. Isn't that convenient? He gets in an elevator with a llama, which is used uh, for sacrifices in the Incan creation myth. And that uh, llamas and young children were used as sacrifices and Lily happens to be uh, mean pure. So Ian is the pure sacrifice, the gift from God. And the female warrior is taking him to a party where everybody just happens to be twins. Isn't that convenient? And so they go into the party and he's going with the two twins there. They, she gets in the elevator. They walk into a party and he goes, wow, everybody's twins. And all the, all the girls are twins. Uh, and he's like, uh, wow, everybody's twins. And the girl's like, yeah. And then Ian leaves and he's like, oh my gosh, my mind is blown. He leaves the twin party. And then he goes and he gets in the elevator. And when he gets in the elevator with the two girls that are twins, they're on floor number 57. And 57 in the Strong's Concordance in the Bible is Abel. You know, like Cain and Abel, twins. All probably just one grand convenient co co coincidence. Convenient coincidence. With the letter M right there. And if you turn it upside down, it's a W, isn't it? Okay, so then 
He goes to a party where he meets Arnold Schwarzenegger, who is just completely mocking him, making fun of him, calling him a little princess. He tells Arnold Schwarzenegger, tells, uh, hey, Ian, hey, put your arms up like this. And then he tells him to lay down on the ground, or get down on the ground and do some push-ups on a floor that just happens to be blue like water. And I recognize it immediately. It's the, the ping pong table is a replica, is a perfect representation of the bridge in front of the Hoover Dam. And when the whole wall falls down, it's a representation of the dam breaking and the new race, the new one republic being birthed. I mean, it's all perfectly, perfectly cryptid. So there we go. So there's, uh, there's the guy with the arms up. If you look there, if you look at his chest, it makes a face. There's the eye. There's the eye. There's the mouth. There's the beard. Uh, guys don't have that long, uh, you know, uh, abdominal muscles. I mean, even if you have well-defined ones, they don't go that long. And so there's the mouth, and there's the eye, there's the eye, there's the horns, and there's two different types of grain, and there's twin pillars on both sides. And here's a, a face of someone laying dead in the water. And that's why Arnold Schwarzenegger told him to get down on the ground and do five push-ups, you know, like five. Get down and do five push-ups, and then he served when he wasn't up there. So, and then the wall comes down, and everybody you know, throws a big party, and Ian's the sacrifice at the party. He doesn't really re realize it, but One Republic is playing. But let me show you the, the ping pong table real quick and the Hoover Dam. Here's the ping pong table. You know what? Let me size a little bit. Here's the ping pong table, and there's the bridge over the Hoover Dam. Oh my gosh, perfect. Isn't that just isn't that just convenient? And then the wall back here breaks and isn't that where the wall would be of the Hoover Dam if if we go like this? There you go. And oddly enough, the Hoover Dam breaking just happens to be printed on your fifty dollar bill and there's three layers of ink uh that show the water running uh over the dam and the the barrier having been Taken down from that bill. This is the new bill, the new the new fifty dollar bill, and the barrier is missing. And here's the old fifty dollar bill, where the barrier right there is up. Let me enlarge that for you. There you go. And so there's the two lines right there that make the barrier. And then when we show you the new fifty dollar bill that came out, those two lines are conveniently missing. And they added some clouds to the back of the bill. And those clouds on the back of the bill happen to make water running over the dam. So there you go. So it just happens to fit all this stuff, which is just uh, absolutely, uh, completely and utterly stupidly impossible. <laughs> With that, it being orchestrated. And anyone that thinks otherwise is delusional. You can't have a female warrior meet gift from God Make a deal, get in a bachelor, get, go to a bachelorette party, go to a party where they get in an elevator with a llama that's used in a sacrifice from the Aztecs and the Incan, cre or the Incan creation myth with a llama named Lily, which means purity, and go to a party where everybody's twins, all the girls are twins. I mean, you know, if you believe that's a coincidence and you're living on some other planet, <laughs> it's like, it ain't, that's not a coincidence. So, Let's just keep going. Let me show you some other stuff that happened. Now, I want you to remember that what this says right here, because this is really important. They died, look, they died to make the desert bloom. Oh, see the two different seeds? Uh-huh, so you have the two different grains, female reproductive system. They died to make the desert bloom. Who died? All God's children, God's angels. God's children that were misled, that were tricked. So let me uh, let me expose them a little more. They died to make the desert bloom. Okay, and Ian was a complete and utter mockery. I mean, they completely and utterly mocked Ian in the whole thing, and they were all in on it. That's what's so twisted. That's what's just so twisted. Watch this. Watch this. Let's see another desert scene. Okay, we're going to look at Bright Crystal. 
And then right after this, right after the bright crystal, we're going to go to Coco Chanel. Okay, here we go. So the last one had uh, the, I'm sorry, the, la the last one I just did, it showed the guy with his arms up, and that's a female reproductive system. And it's also the face of Baphomet. And so you have the goat-faced man. You have the two different seeds, female reproductive system, and they die so the desert can bloom. And then you have, obviously, Ian being trapped into a duplicitous system where he has his own twin, which was Don Cheadle. And the word Don means to put on like a garment. I mean, really, seriously. That's embarrassing. It's so obvious. Let's keep going. Watch this. Let's do the Versace. And then we'll go to Coco Chanel. Ready? Here we go. Uh, is that like a uh, naked female coming down from heaven like an angel? I'm going to I'm going to pause it and change the speed. I I slowed it down so I could see some stuff. So here we go. Let me fix this. Here we go. Cuz we don't need to make it slow. This is so obvious. Here we go. Remember on the other one they died to make the desert bloom. Thank you for your sacrifice all you Angels that died so another race could take over. There you go. That's what they're saying. Is, is that, is she, is she doing a, is she, is that, is that like a W with your hands just giving some room in the middle for something to come up from underground? <laughs> so stupid. Okay, look at the teardrop. Uh, oh, wait. That's what got everything started was a teardrop. See right there? I want to make sure you see that right there. Teardrop hits the ground. What comes out of the eye of a sheep? Teardrop, right? Wow. And that starts it. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. Oh my word, a magic desert penis. I think you should have sex with it. <laughs> and, and make a perfume out of it. It'll be great. <laughs> oh my gosh. What an amazing desert penis that's growing. <laughs> so stupid. That's, that's deep. Okay, everybody get ready to listen now. Now, because a marvelous desert penis sprung up from underground with the angel that came down and landed, and this wonderful desert penis popped up, thank goodness, so she could have sex with it and make a perfume. <laughs> Isn't that great? What a wonderful fragrance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Her eye just turned to like a slit like a serpent. See right there? It went... Let's let's watch that again real slow. Let's watch her eye change. Okay. It's, see, it's round right there. Let's watch. There you go. Okay. So now one eye's in the dark. One eye turns to more like a serpent eye. And she breathes out her last breath. This has got to be an amazing fragrance, right? Desert penis. I guess that's what they're going to name it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Let's slow it down real quick. Let's, let's slow this down for a sec. Let's go right here. Uh-oh. Look, see, there she is. Like, oh, my goodness. 
She's trapped in the bottle. See, there she is. Well, I wonder what they're going to call that fragrance. Is that like desert sex or what is that? <laughs> Underground desert penis? I mean, <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, I wonder what they're selling. I don't know. Let's see what they're selling. Okay, there's a girl trapped in a bottle, naked girl that had sex with a secret, de like an underground desert penis. Yeah. Wow. I'll tell you what. If you ask me, they're not selling anything. <laughs> Do those represent stars? Like, are all those little flakes right there in the dark? Are those like a bunch of stars that are falling? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is your body becoming a prison now? Uh-oh, did your body become a prison? Did they capture your essence in a bottle? Wow, that's... That's wonderful. My, what a marvelous commercial. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to the next one. Okay, well that was weird. Secret Desert Penis, take three. Okay. So, I'm, well, I mean, you know. That's just got to be the greatest, <laughs> you know, that's got to be a great, great, you know, fragrance, right? Okay, well, let's see. Let's look at, y'all Y'all remember the three-hour video I did where when you turn the virgin, the virgin, the virgin, the virgin, upside down, it becomes a bug. And on that bug's eyes, it's got a thing called omatidia, which is a compound lens. Yeah, and I thought, wow, that is crazy. Uh, that Daniel 12 says, at the time of the end, shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth with the children of thy people. There shall be a time of trouble, female rival, look it up. The word trouble means female rival. Ever since there was a nation flight of locusts. The word nation means flight of locusts. Isn't that odd when you turn the virgin upside down? It becomes a locust? That's pretty weird. Let's take a look at that. Let's just prove that out. So here's a guy with a virgin tattoo on him. See? See the virgin? But he's upside down, and there's there's a big locust on his back right there. It's got mandibles, proboscis, eyes, and the eyes have a very special set of compound lenses called omatidia. I recognize them from biology. And then let me just enlarge that one time so you can see it before we play this next commercial. See, there you go. <laughs> it's, it's time to laugh at them. It's time to laugh in the face of the enemy now. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy, laughter. And you know what? I've sown so many tears at <laughs> It's time to have a good laugh at them. It's like, Guys, y'all are done. Y'all are, hey, bugs, y'all are done. Your time is up for the bugs. Okay, so let's go back and let's take a look. So the time of the female rival, female rival since there was a flight of locusts. Well, here's a closed eye. Here's an open eye. And here's an open eye that's starting to turn to a bunch of little squares and Here's a human eye that's got omatidia over half of it. And I'm just going to slide this right over here on top of this. So you can see this picture right here is identical to that half of the eye right there. And here's a girl that's got a tattoo down by her vagina that's got a dragon coming out of a piece of fruit because that's where the dragon came out of, folks. There you go. That was the birthing place of the dragon. And so there it is coming out of the fruit 
uh, I think you can figure out what the fruit was. So let's watch this next commercial. This ought to be good. There we go. I want y'all to look at the screen, by the way. If you're looking at that screen, I've done a lot of close-up uh, images or enlargements on other videos that would be on someone's eye, and the screen doesn't do that. That's done with intent for a reason. Like, looks like Omatidia, doesn't it? Because it is. Just watch. Oh, wait a minute. The eye opens up, but then the eye turns immediately to... Eye opens up and then turns immediately to, oh, an eye that has omatidia. Because guess what's down in the pit? A race of locusts, the, the other race. You know, like Lady Gaga said, my performance at the Grammy Awards is about a new race of beings being birthed within the human race. And what's running them is down below in the pit. There's a host body system above ground, and what was used as the bait for God's angels was the forbidden fruit, because you're going to die. It's going to kill everybody. Look, the open eye turned into omatidia. Let's watch that one more time. Let's watch it in slow-mo. Let's do that. Let's, get, let's go all the way to the beginning, and let's change the speed here to 0.25. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Oh, wow. Look at that. It sure did. And by the way, that's with what's called intent. So here's a commercial. And the very first thing you see is an eye opening. That's the very first thing you see. Okay. Let me show you why. For God doth know in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Okay? Remember that they weren't even supposed to touch it. Look at the word touch. It means to lay with a woman. That's what the word touch means. I looked it up. Okay, so <laughs> let's watch another commercial. Let's do it. Here we go. Let me change the speed again back to normal. Okay, here we go. So the eye opens up. It turns to the set of eyes that it really is down in the pit. That is the all-seeing eye. Watching everything from below. And here we go. Oh. There we go. Well, no one told me about her. Okay, so here comes, just like Ian. Now remember... Ian was the special guest at the other party, and here comes the special guest at this party. It's the same exact thing, just different set, different venue, different cologne, perfume, whatever, pheromone, <laughs> different pheromone, okay? So no one told me about her, the way she lied, the zombies. See, he's a special guest. You're the special guest, just like Ian was. Uh-oh, there's the bait, just like, hi, I'm Kelly, female warrior. Nice pyramid with your knee. Well, no one told me about... Uh-oh, now she's going to go behind the screen because, uh, like that phantom image thing, right? Hmm. Let's watch her put on her perfume. Oh, wait a minute. Did she just, is she making 666 and then turning the bottle of perfume upside down? You know what? So she had to hold it like this and then hold her fingers out like this and then turn it upside down. That's really awkward. Why wouldn't she just simply, you know, put it on this finger and do it like it would be the normal easy way to do it? Because we got to get the 666 in there. That's why. Okay, then she puts it on her behind the screen. It's too late to say you're sorry. How would I know? 
Why should I care? Okay, so now he's looking at her. She's looking at him. This is the enticement. So here we go, the temptation. Please don't bother trying to find her. She's not there. Don't bother trying to find her. She's not there. I like the way they use this song because it's perfect. Phantom image. Yep, because she's not there. Oh, he took the bait. He just took the bait. Shouldn't have taken the bait. Took the bait. The way she had tanned, the color of her hair. Her voice was soft and cool. Her eyes were clear. Uh oh, wait a minute. What he thought he was going to get just turned from light to dark. And guess what? Listen to the sound. But she's not there. Oh, knockout punch. There you go. Let's hear that sound again. Oh, because he's been cast down. That's why he's looking up. And let's see where he is. See where he is. After he gets his knockout punch. Female warrior. Just like Kelly. Where is uh, this guy caught? Oh, wow. He's caught in the middle of the Vesica Pisces, isn't he? Because that was a trap. <laughs> is this getting like redundantly obvious, guys? What does this have to do with perfume? I mean, like the secret... Underground penis from the desert cologne or perfume. Or what does this have to do with perfume? Hmm. Well, he's caught in a trap. He got knocked out. And what are they just hunting him? Oh. Oh, they're hunting men. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Uh huh. That's great. Okay, well, there it is. So he got the knockout punch. And he got trapped in his prison. Now, let me go to a folder real quick. And let's go through a folder. And let's just look at a couple things. So there we go. There's the eye. There's the eye opening. The eye's turning into omatidia, just like a fruit fly's eye. Or any bug that's got a compound eye. So let's just take that and put it like right there on that bug. Because that's what he's really dealing with. That's what this really is. That's why this bug right here has a vagina right here. Because what everybody thought was really great was really just a trap. That's why you don't want to mess with a forbidden fruit. You're not supposed to touch it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Oops. Let me... There you go. There's your forbidden fruit because... That's what you're dealing with. That's what's running it from underground. See, look, here's a bug that's got two eyes that have omatidia on both eyes, compound eye. There it is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and that just happens to be the virgin when you turn it upside down. So let me go and just put that picture where it belongs. There you go. Let me just grab this and slide it right into the commercial there you go hey <laughs> so, it's just such a bust man i just can't believe it it's like uh, here's a really great picture i saw the other day it's a it's a original it's a hard cider it's called original sin hard cider look what it says S-S-L-I-I-N-N-H-H-E-E-R-R-E-E. -E -E. S-I-N-S-I-N, sin, H-E-R-E, -E, sin, here. X-X, that's female, plus X-Y, oh, oh, male, plus apple, <laughs> original sin. 
And if you look at their logo, it's a vesica pisces. It's an O intersecting the bottom of the S. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> so, it's so busted. It's uh, the reason I can't. I've been laughing for the last two days. Just going, oh my gosh, this is such a joke. Now they're so busted. Even on the girl that turns, uh, you know, where it turns into black. There's a dragon on her chest. There's the dragon's eye, top of the head. There's the teeth right there, open mouth. And they superimpose this dragon in here. And they even worked in the head of a dragon. Nice job. So, my question to everybody is, what the hell does this have to do with perfume? How about, oh, it's a marvelous scent. It's made from this or made from that. It's got the fragrance of this or the fragrance of that. No, there's a penis coming out of the desert from underground and a girl trapped in a bottle. It's wonderful. And here's another guy that gets knocked out <laughs> because he took the perfume from the girl and he's in a trap. Well, let me show you another picture of that. Wow. So is that is that where he is? It's Yeah. Is that him? That sure is, isn't it? There he is. There's a zoomed out image. Oh, wait a minute. Here's a female reproductive system uh, with the all seen eye in the middle. Oh, wow. That's crazy. See, look. Let me show it to you. <laughs> I'm just laughing at him now. It's like, it's a joke. Oh, wow. That's weird. The largest altar in the world. The largest altar in the world is a vagina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's a dead sheep. You know, Ian's a dead sheep. This guy's a dead sheep. No. You know. There you go. So, this is really nifty. Check it out. So, here's one ovary. And it's an upside down pyramid. Here's another ovary. And it's a right side up. One upside down. One right side up. It's the serpent system right there. And then, you know, this is the, you know, the opening of the vagina. I mean, doesn't take much to realize what you're looking at here. And what came out of the vagina? The all-seeing eye. And where is that really looking from? The pit. There you go. Amazing. So now let's shrink that in size. Let's go back and have a look at the Coco Chanel. Okay, so here's Coco Chanel. And let's do, oh, wow. Well, that's not perfect, is it? Wow. Here's another original Sin poster uh, from the Hard Cider. I'll see, it says original Sin. And this girl's uh, panties are showing. And look what it says. All natural hard cider as Eden, as Eden intended. Let's just, yeah, there you go. See, all natural hard cider, as Eden intended. So have y'all figured out what's going on now? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing. It's like such a joke. It's like, uh, I feel so stupid. <laughs> it's been like this forever. But in the end, everything that's secret will be made public. So there's nothing to be afraid of anymore, is there? And you know what? Satan hates that. That's why I noticed in that last video I did about the uh, Bud Light commercial, I had to erase some comments that were really psychotically hateful. And people that left the comments started a channel just to leave the comment. You know why? Because one thing the enemy hates is when you laugh in their face. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are... Time's coming. I guarantee it. So, days are numbered, folks. Oh, look, I love New York. Oh, I wonder if that's the Lord just giving a heads up because New York's on the chopping block. I guarantee it. So, anyway, there you go. There's male XY. There's female XX. Okay, so those are the... Um, delineations of the chromosomes in sex determination. And that's why this poster right here of this girl that says sin here, that's why it has XX plus XY plus the apple, original sin. There you go.
And it's a no-brainer now. That's why when that eye opened up, it turned to Omatidia. Because what's really running it is down in the pit, running the above-ground host body system. That's why it says, let us create man in our own image, Selem Vein Show. Because the human host body is a totally vain show. Complete vanity, the whole host body system is pure vanity, vain show. Representative figure, especially an idol. Now do you get it? It's hard to argue with now, isn't it? There you go. I just wanted to show you all that because it's gotten so redundantly ridiculous. That's why I go over the same stuff. It's because even though it's a new commercial or, uh, you know, I, ca I saw a, co a commercial tonight that I can do the same thing on. I can do commercials all day long. I can show you my Frosted Flakes box over there on the counter. Literally Frosted Flakes. And show you the same stuff. I can show you a greeting card that my, my, my wife gave me. I can show you a pyramid from uh, Guatemala. I can show you a sheep from Starbucks. And, you know, I mean, I can pull it off anywhere and show it to you. Because you're in their world. <laughs> and now we don't have anything to be afraid of. And we can literally laugh in their face. <laughs> so, there you go. Nothing to be afraid of anymore. Because that which nobody knew is now known. And so you guys can have a good laugh. And when you can laugh at it, there's no fear in it. It's like, no. Sorry, guys. Nothing spooky anymore. All right, guys. God bless. Good night.